getting ready to listen in on the Amron net. Now, what I'm going to be using is one of my favorite uh, radios. It is the County Com GP-5 slash SSB. And I really like this radio because it is small, compact, and it is the radio of choice for me for my go bag because of its small size. And as far as I know, it's the only radio of its size with shortwave and single sideband capability. And that's really, really important. If you want to tune in to the prepper and preparedness nets, then you're going to need a shortwave radio with single sideband capability. Now, I'm illustrating this because you don't need to have a license. This is something that you can tune in and listen and stay informed. And you can even participate if you want to register with these nets. You can even log on and document for them that you're uh, receiving their signal from your location. That's very helpful for them because it lets them know how far their net is being successful. And for you, this is a great way to practice shortwave single sideband capability. In a time of need, this is going to be a very critical communication resource. Now, when I got my uh, GP5, I picked up the extra antenna. I think it's always good to have a backup antenna for every one of your radios. I also picked up the accessory padded case, which is a nice way to keep this radio protected in your go bag. It also has a nice little clip if you want to wear it on your belt, but I typically just stuff this down in the front compartment of my go bag. Now, a critical accessory for this radio or any shortwave radio is going to be a long wire antenna. Now honestly you can just take a random length of wire, attach an alligator clip to it, wrap it around a credit card or some little device to keep it uh, coiled and neat when you don't need it so it's easily uh, deployed. You just clip that alligator clip on your antenna of your uh, shortwave radio and it really greatly increases the receiving capability. This is a long wire antenna that I made for my radio. Now this antenna is designed for another radio I have, the Texan PL880, which has a um, antenna port where I can just plug this long wire into the side of the radio. For the county comm radio, there is no antenna port, so what I do is I deploy about an inch or so of the whip antenna. And then something I have in my little antenna kit is a little jumper with an alligator clip and a mono plug. And I just plug that plug onto the jack on the end of my antenna. And now I've got an alligator clip that I can quickly attach to the end of my GP5 and I'm good to go.